We shall soon see as this one is off and running. Here we go. Third game of day three. So it's the Vanarchy, the uh, five seed out of Group B, three and four out of pool play. Pierre Louis, no, not that time. Uh, Team American made, by the way, the eight seed out of pool A, finished with a two and five record. Beast Coast Ballers await the winner of this one. The American made limped to the finish, lost all three of their games yesterday, and that's a good sign. Daquan Bracey has played well at times. They need to get Nate Pierre Louis, who I thought played phenomenally on day one. Hasn't been as good on day two, and now we've seen two early drives to the basket. Hasn't been able to get either to go. Yeah, Pierre Louis averages 7.3 points per game. He's, he's managing the score. He's just not being as, as efficient. As efficient. He <laughs> missed a lot of shots at the rim. I mean, he's a physical guard. And they started off well. You saw their body of work, but then went through a, a three-game stretch where they couldn't win. Oh, good hustle. Pierre Louis swings it over. And uh, Rashad Davis could not get it to go down. Rashad Davis is guarded. He can really rebound. He, he's a good role player on this American-made team. Yeah, he is starring in his role. Tough. Man. Parker. Chris Parker. Bottoms. Pierre Louis. He'll drive. He'll kick. Nice. Davis is short. Jay, no good. I wait for De 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 Juan Bracy to get a clear lane. He's a jitterbug. He is. He can really, really go. Yeah. I saw him put put a couple down in practice that was look looked like New Williams. <laughs> He the can. standard for athletic guard play, wow. New Williams in this deal. It's funny how New Williams' name comes up. And he, <laughs> I mean, he's been that explosive in this tournament. We won't, we won't see uh, his Rocky Mountain Range team into the quarterfinals. Uh, I just think the, the way he hangs on the rim makes his dunks look all the more emphatic. Yeah. Without getting a technical foul. Right. Four teams uh, automatically qualified to uh, the quarterfinals, by the way. Southwest Soldiers, Big Match in Rocky Mountain Range, Wicked Spots. Quan Bracey going up over everybody. Smallest guy on the floor, and he tapped that to Rashad Davis. Sons of Anarchy getting it to the middle. Who's Nigel Pearson. Uh, nothing happening there. I think all the foul, actually. I think they got the Quan Bracey for Ah, uh, they did. With a reach around. Yeah. So here's Pearson, this year's Sun Belt Player of the Year. Opening the possession, Ferguson. Easy breezy. 3 2. Andrews jabbing, trying to get a little space there in the corner. He drives base, uh, reverse. Nice sauce on, uh, on the finish there. So it'll be blue ball and uh, eight seconds left on the shot clock. So Chris Parker will get it going. Ferguson, he wants some movement here. Not everybody has watched Team USA uh, 3x3. Some better than others. <laughs> some more than others. You can make shots like that. Who, need, who needs Team USA? 4-4. <laughs> I don't know if you want to rely on that. I'll leave it here. Single elimination hoop here on day three. We're three minutes in. Devin Andrews, too strong on the two piece. Chris Parker, get to the rim. Follows his own miss. Goes to the crossover and gives it up. Pearson still had seven seconds left on the shot clock. You get a pass like that, it's probably wise to not shoot it. That's a foul. Pierre Pier Louis is like, what, what more do I need to do to get a foul called out here? Nice finish there for Ferguson. Yeah, he threw it in reverse. Now Pierre Louis. he got nowhere to go. But up. Missed it. It's Romeo Ferguson getting up to Parker now. He's got Pierre Louis defending. He says, if you don't give it to me, I'm going to take it. Didn't make it. I think Nigel Pearson was surprised he got that ball. Yeah, he was like, oh, oh thank you. I'm hoping. Yeah, I guess I'll lay this in. 
One point ball game. Good defense by Chris Parker. Yeah. Guard the bigger Devin Andrews. Just using his quickness and those quick hands. I'd like to see him sprint. Sprint to that two point arc. They're kind of casually think, getting I, there. He didn't clear it. He didn't lift that foot up. Ah, uh, yeah. No Robbie, you got some good eyes. Thank you. Either you're watching it here on the court or you're looking at that monitor you got over I could, I could see the official call it right away, and that replay doesn't show it. But he, he never picked his other foot up. You can get one foot behind the line, and you've got to pick that foot up to clear it. But if you just have, if you're straddling the line with two feet on the ground, they are going to wave that off. Juan Bracey, wow. quick crossover. Strong uh, finish there. Evens things up at six apiece. Tough. Nigel Pierce is taking some difficult shots right now. And he's got an assignment here with the quicker Bracey in front of him. Bracey going to the spin move. Oh, dropped him off. He's explosive. Yeah, he, he can really score the ball. Parker. Oh, he rocked him. Oh, but he could knock down the fadeaway. Balance on that just to get a shot up. Cuffy. He saves it. Pearson. Nigel Take what he gives him. And Nigel even things up at seven apiece. We're past the midway mark on the five minutes of play. Pierre Louis. Hot nice. Step. That was beautiful. Yeah, nice moves. One downhill. Pro hop. Speaking of nice moves, how about Cuffy right there? So here's Elijah Cuffey. You let him go left. You're in trouble with Elijah Cuffey. There's that pro hop by Pierre Louis. It's a strong left hand move. You see Devin Andrews swiping down and there's been a lot of contact on some of these drives. This time, an opportunity for a two point play for Elijah Cuffey. Bracey, Hezzy, Mr. the layup, but he has some help. He's fouled in the process. So Daquan Bracey out of Louisiana Tech. Love to see his aggression uh, so far in this game. He's really made it a point to get to the rim, for some calls. This ain't day one. It's 9-9. Nine, nine. <laughs> It's not day one. No, you, we thank God for you that. Can, you can get that call now. Because day one, there was some uh, real contact out here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Elijah. If you embraced the physicality of the game, you were excelling. Yes. If you, you had played college football, you would have been balling. Oh, Speaking of excelling, that's exactly what Daquan Bracey's doing. He gets laces from distance, and it's 11-9 games. Good defense. Yeah. Shot Davis locking down. But look at uh, that last two piece from Bracey. He gets threads out there. His confidence is definitely shining through right now. They get the ball back to him. Why not get it to the hot hand? Got Cuffy off oh balance. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That's going to be a shot clock violation, but yeah. that was a nasty crossover. Oh, yeah, buddy. And we're talking about a defensive player of the year and Elijah Cuffy, a son defensive player of the year. He's a great defender. He just got broke off, though. No, wait. That's a tough assignment. Little oh. guards are hard, hard to defend. Yeah, big on little. Make sure that the shoes tied up. Cuffy hustling. Oh, he tried to throw it off Bracey, but he was – had a sense of awareness to move out of the way. So that'll be black ball. Brace has been so good. He's got eight points, knocked down two twos. He's been everywhere. He's going right at Elijah Cuffey. Oh, got wrapped up there. Oh, jump ball. Great, yeah, great call. It's ref Art Vaughn, by the way, out there with Grant Toady. Art, a staple of the North American 3x3 scene. Absolutely. Art's one of the best best around. Shout out to Art. Seen them all overseas. Yep. Pierce, no. Here, Louis. Oh, there he goes. Stepped on that line. Yeah. 
intensity and about what you would expect it to be here on the final day. Single elimination, plenty of money on the line as we make our way towards the $50,000 championship game. So it's the man trying to oh, good defense. even things up here. Really well done. Nigel Pearson staying down on that shot fake, locking into Devin Andrews. 246 officially left in this one. Couple fouls each on for each team. Pearson now, he look at his chops and the Bracey. Gave him that work. Here, Louis. Use the nearly the oh, entire shot clock. Yeah, yeah, not a good possession, but Neil Ferguson gets him on the arm. And a possession that was going nowhere for American made ends up at the free throw line. He was not passing that ball. Bracey was the top of the key. Pierre Louis didn't even look his way. Hey, when he when he puts his mind to scoring it, Pierre Louis is going to get a shot up. We've seen that all three of these days. He is a scorer. Well, he uh, breaks the tie. It's 12-11. American made. We were just talking about Lil John's album. The other we day. were. We were talking <laughs> about this. This is, a, this is a classic. DJ Poison Ivy is all up in her bag. It's impossible to, to, to have low energy when she, she's dropping banger after banger. And of course, the action we have in front of us, too. So. Both. Yes. Combo. Good combination. But DJ Poison Ivy does. Uh, Definitely reps the uh, the 2012. Yeah, you grew up on that music. You're, you're gonna be a fan of what you're hearing here. Official team DJ of the oh, uh, wow. Dallas Mavericks, by the way. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. Is that uh, Andrews? Yeah, yeah. Devin Andrews. Hoop tough, in tough shot. See, just kind of a scramble for the ball, and Romeo Ferguson gets his hands caught in there. He just goes right through him. He been in the weight room. The weight room, indeed. Former FIU forward, splashes the free throw. Pearson. Big shot. Man, quick draw. Cash. 14-13, Pierre-Louis, drive, kick. Gracie. He hadn't gotten, gotten a, a look in a while. That's a good one, too. Yeah, kind of good dribble drive and kick out. Oh, nice passing. The effort on the offensive boards right there. Yeah, quickly over the cup for the score 14 all. Pierre Louis. Excuse me. Nice. Pearson. Wow, <laughs> Nigel Pearson. And then a miss. Wow, I, I don't think that that should have been stopped. I thought that was Nate Pierre Louis and Devin Andrews taking the ball from each other. You know, I tend to agree with you here, Robbie. No debate. <laughs> that that should have, I mean, yeah. they stole it from each other. It's a break for American made. Andrews just off target. Sons of Anarchy. He's got it going. Up by Boy, one. he is carrying them. Nigel Pearson from two again. Carrying the weight like a cargo ship is Nigel Pearson. 17 to 15. Block. Yeah. Ferguson got a hand on it. Pierce, Pearson passes deflected. 10 seconds will uh, remain on the shot clock for them. One minute remaining in this game. Pearson getting hot late. Five of 10, seven points here. Knocked down two twos. All of a sudden, they, they made three of their last three field goals. Here's Pearson looking up at the uh, shot clock. He got to get it up. He does. Ball over to Black, though. Final 45 seconds, Definitely 17, using the Juan Bracey two-piece or an Andrews double. Bracey still battling underneath. He misses it. Shot yeah. Davis again, keeping that alive. Oh, oh he nice. Man. He is living on the offensive glass. Stepping up when they need him to. And we got a one-point game with under 30 ticks to go. Yeah, look at Davis there. The activity on the offensive glass. He's a 
Cannot, the foul will take up. Cannot give up a two. Oh, and, and I think they're going to get Chris Parker for taking a step back well, and stepping if, out of bounds. When have we seen that? That we usually see it on the uh, on the sidelines side here. But yeah, you check the ball. You got to be sure that you are in bounds and, and have some space to operate. Napier and Louis right now looks like a running back who's about to get a handoff and, and is looking right where he's going. <laughs> he is going to the basket. He's got Cuffy defending. Oh, hey, man! Pierre Louis! He just took it too far. You can see it coming. They needed a safe word, Robbie. Now, 10 seconds. <laughs> that was just nasty. That was ridiculous. You said it. He had to I, look at his eyes. You could tell he was going to go to the rack, and it's what he does. But it was like a running back looking at his hole. Oh, my. That was freaky fresh. Where's Jimmy John's at? Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Look again. It's like he got boosted up. A, a little bit of contact. Man, he put it down on his mini throw. Oh, my goodness. Take that, Drizzy. Where you go now? Do you go to Daquan Bracey or you go back to Pierre Louis? They both wanted the ball <laughs> really bad. And here we go. Good get lob. Good deep. How about we do overtime? And, uh, yeah, we're going to overtime. <laughs> made. Pierre Louis wanted it, Daquan Bracey wanted it. But what a play to force OT. Yeah, that's a man's jam, as they say. He's got those long arms. And uh, coming to the rim with it. He just kept climbing. He did. Climbing and climbing. Imagine me and Cuffy have to look up and see that ball coming down top of your head like that, Rob. I've, nice. I've been there. It's well. tough. He's going to try to call game. Oh, he, oh, he went glass. In no OT for two. Game winner. Pierre Louis. Ooh la la. American made. Taking it in overtime. Our second overtime win of the day. Not only $1,000 richer, but more importantly, a chance to advance. As they survive and the Sons of Anarchy are going home, American made making their way to the bag full of cash. And this is what did it for them. Pierre Louis after the filthy bang out in regulation. Big Bank take Lil Bank. And Pierre Louis said, it's on me, fellas. Let's head to the Dos Equis Lounge. I want to talk to the Duffel Bag boys and let them know how I, did, how I stole this bag away. I mean, we got to talk to Nate Pierre-Louis because yes. that was uh, what an epic finish to that game. And, Nate, we have to ask you, when you went up and you took flight right there, did you know you were going to throw that one down? Yeah, I told DA to go on the left side because I had a feeling like I could just blow past and try to dunk on him with my right. So uh, that was the play, honestly. Uh, as a guy who has never hit a game winner and never dunked on anybody, and you did both <laughs> in like a 30-second span, which one felt better? The win. The win? Yeah. Did you call Bank? Did you, did you call yeah. Bank? I mean, I didn't care if it went anywhere. If it was it, if it was all net or bank, we got the dub. That's the most important part. Absolutely, and Rashad, I have to ask you because you dominated on the offensive glass. You were a big force, a big spark in this game. And uh, how are you guys able to kind of, you know, stay home, stay base, and be able to get a quick win here? I mean, we just trust each other and you know, like we had a rough day yesterday. We just had to come yep. out here and do what we had to do today to get a dub. I'd love to see so it. So, what, what's the biggest difference? You said you had a rough day yesterday. Uh, you woke up this morning, got the big dub in overtime. Uh, did, 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 did anything happen last night that, that, that strategizing or anything like that? We actually we had we made a group chat and we talked about everything that happened yesterday and the day before that, and we made adjustments. Well, move, move move aside, Jalen Suggs. Yes. The the bank in for the game winner of the weekend Nate might, Pierre might be Nate Pierre Louis right now. <laughs> uh, you guys got Beast Coast Ballers next. Do we know anything about them? Do we care? No, what's not the, really. We played them already, so play, like we talked about the them playing. Oh yeah, yeah, they're in your right. pool. That's you played right. them already. Yep. Yep. You already know them. Just play your game and uh, yeah, dunk on people and bank in threes. You'll be fine. <laughs> I think so. you'll be good. Appreciate you. There you go. Appreciate you. Big guys. win. Thank you.